Welcome to the Chemistry, Biology and Math Revision Hub. Today we are doing the Pearson Ed Excel International A Level or GCE Biology Practicals and this is Core Practical 12, investigating the effect of temperature on the development of organisms such as seedling, growth rate or branch shrimp hatch rates. So I began with investigation using branch shrimp because the independent variable is temperature, we begin by setting up experiments with beakers containing salt solutions at five different temperatures. Since temperature is being varied, everything else has to remain the same. So in my second part of the procedure, the salt solutions have to be of the same concentration and they have to be of the same volume. And also we can obtain this by dissolving the same mass of sample in a specific volume of deionized water. Then we will slightly dampen the graph paper with some salt water and then pinch a small number of brine shrimp eggs and carefully sprinkle them on a damp graph paper. Then we will use a magnifying glass and count about 40 eggs and cut the graph paper around the egg and then we'll place the cut graph paper facing down in the beaker of salt water. We will allow the experiment a specific amount of time for the eggs to fall off the graph paper into the salt water and then you can use forceps that have been sterilized to remove the graph paper and throw it away. Of course, you have to carefully ensure that all the eggs have fallen off. Then we will repeat the same procedure with all other temperatures. We have to make sure we control specific variables. For example, even if temperature is being varied, for each experiment, the second example, if I'm carrying out at 15 degrees, I have to make sure that temperature remains at 15 degrees. So we can use corresponding water baths or we can use specific refrigerators in order to ensure once the temperature is varied, it remains exact as it has been. So we will need to count the number of hatched brine shrimp every 24 hours and repeat counting for two more days. Then we'll dissolve suitable mass of sea salts into a beaker of deionized water and we will use this to hold the hatched brine shrimp during the counting process. You will need to record the number of hatched brine shrimps at each temperature in a suitable table. The next part is about investigating the effects of temperature on the development of organisms such as seedling growth rate. Here we're going to do the same thing. So we will set up, because again temperature is the independent variable, we will set up experiments at five different temperatures. We will fold cotton wool and place it into each petri dish and we'll do this ensuring that all the bottom of the petri dish is completely covered with a layer of cotton. Then we'll use tarot forceps to count 20 seeds and place them in a petri dish, ensuring that they spread out in each petri dish. And then we will use a measuring cylinder and add about 30 centimeters cubed of water into each petri dish. Then place each petri dish into the correct refrigerator or incubator. And after 24 hours, you will add 20 centimeters cubed of water in each petri dish. Then periodically check every 24 hours to ensure that the petri dishes do not dry out. After five days, observe the seeds and record the number of germinated seeds at each temperature. Now, in all these experiments, you have to make sure the variables are controlled, like we control the change in temperature by ensuring we use a specific water bath at a specific temperature. To minimize the biotic variables, we have to make sure the seeds are the same species, they are the same age, and everything is exactly the same. And of course, experiments are going to be repeated at each temperature, the numbers are going to be recorded, the mean is going to be calculated, and the results will be interpreted appropriately. So this brings us to the end. Thank you for being with us. Do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.